my lovers welcome to my channel my name is made for love and welcome to an ancestor message and we're going to let whatever needs to come through come through um but we are setting the intention that it would be about your love relationship if anything else comes through and um, we will also explore that and i'll take it into the extended if there is a need to take it into the extended okay um just a couple things um, a couple of you reached out to me about um, adjusting the settings on Vimeo to allow you guys to purchase the womb healing um, meditation and purchase the twin flame union meditation. So I have made that, adjust that adjustment. Thank you for um, uh, recommending that. I have made that adjustment. So there is an option um, to purchase um, these meditations rather than rent. Okay. So that's been done. Another thing, have any of you guys been getting some weird uh, streams like nightmares? You guys let me know. It was oh, so many crazy things. People trying to kill me, all kinds of shit. It was just nuts. I was like, maybe I'm compromised. But when I checked myself, I was clear. No, I did see a lot of dark energy, like just on the periphery. But they weren't in my, my energy field. So it's just so weird. Anyway, so you guys will tell me about that. Okay, so let's go into this ancestor message. I decided to do an ancestor message now um, because we just celebrated all souls and all saints in my country. We don't celebrate Halloween. Well, people, some people now just have just started, but it's not our tradition really. Our tradition is all souls and all saints day. Um, so I lit this candle for my father because he loved blue. Blue was his favorite color. And I've been feeling his energy around me even more pronounced than usual. Although I used to talk to him every day and all that. Um, but I do feel his energy around me. Uh, what's this? Okay, we'll, we'll do it. Well, okay, I guess that's the first message that's going to come. Um, and I've been hearing this song um, that he used to sing, Earth Angel. I cannot sing it right now. I just woke up. <laughs> So you can check that out, Earth Angel. Oh, to hear my father sing the song. I told you, my father has one of the best voices I have ever heard, you know? Anyway, Earth Angel. I keep hearing that song. So you can check out the lyrics to that. Maybe I'll put it below in the pinned comment um, for you guys. Let me put a note there and I'll put it there so you don't have to go looking. Okay, so Earth Angel. Or maybe I'll put it in the um, community. Community tab, Earth Angel. Because I feel like that's definitely um, a message. Either way, <clears throat> Spirit is saying is, this is going to be about good news. <laughs> I told him my father would come true because he always prided himself on being a daddy to everyone. All my friends used to call him daddy and all that. So I know he'll be a daddy to you guys too. So this is about good news. Okay, so there's going to be a message that's coming to you. Um, and it's going to be about good news. So there's no need to be trepidatious right now or have this thinking that something bad is going to happen. Okay, and it's, it's probably about a soul contract here. Because this is a card, number 23 and 23, reduces to 5. For some of you, this is a DNA activation. Um, DNA, 23, chromosomes, <laughs> right? Um, it might be a DNA activation, so it might be news that you get in your spirit. Um, but spirit saying is good. So all those negative thoughts that consume you and you think, okay, maybe it's going to be a repeat of the old cycle and... And all of, the, all of that, <clears throat> Spirit saying stop. Log into your heart space. And the heart has no fear. Okay? So let's go. Brave heart. <laughs> Brave heart energy. So this is supposed to be about your twin flame connection. Your soulmate connection. But whatever comes through, I'm going to run with it. All right, we have a caring mother coming through. Um, and another card, number five, okay? What am I getting? I'm getting Divine Mother. I'm not getting Earth Mother. Um, for some of you, it may be a mother energy that's coming through um, as well. And my father is just the conduit, okay? Um, but there's some sort of nurturing that your person is receiving right now. Quite frankly, it might be feeling your energy anyway, okay? But there's some a feminine energy that is being very nurturing. Um, to your divine masculine right now or you might be doing a lot of mother healing yourself um, with your mother energy 
um, with the mother energy that was in your life, whether they were transitioned or not, maybe there's a healing time um, for you guys and recognizing why this person were, was the way they were, what lessons they were trying to um, pass on to you. All right. Because whether they were horrible or, the, or they were wonderful, um, they are all part of our soul tribe, just contracted to play different roles in, in this lifetime. Okay. All right. So let's have a look. We're going to take four cards and expand from there. Pop it pops. What do we need to know? Okay. So we have poor choices. And it's poor choices in love. Because look at six, six, right? And that's about the lovers. Um, we have all these repeating numbers. So I feel like you and your person have been repeating cycles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Repeating cycles in love. I don't think this is just your person. <laughs> okay. These poor choices. I think you might have had a history of shitty relationships. You let me know down below. <laughs> okay. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you because that's my story too. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> Guys, if I start telling you stories, you'll be like, ah, no way, <laughs> right? Um, and then we have social problems. And look, we have third parties here. So maybe you've had a history of attracting people who are emotionally and physically unavailable. And you know what that is? That is intimacy avoidance within self. That's what that is. It's a, it's a fear of being seen. So you, you get you get hidden these relationships here, these connections, these entanglements, and maybe get yourself involved in a drama. It's because you didn't want you don't want to deal with self. There's something here that you're trying to escape um, in yourself. Now we have good parties coming through, and that's a card number nine. So I feel like that's about self love, and we also have women's women's fun. So I am getting a big shift here. Okay, let us go with the message for about you first and then we're going to do with a message for you okay the message about you i really am getting that in the past you attracted emotionally unavailable people all kinds of entanglements um possible drama um in your intimate relationships because master number 22 is about mastering your intimate relationships and quite frankly maybe that is your mission in this lifetime to master your intimate relationships. And we only master our intimate relationships when we master ourselves. And I think that is what you've done. And this is the universe celebrating you. And then look, we have it here again. Master number 33 now. So besides mastering your intimate relationships in this lifetime and loving yourself, you're also meant to master your spiritual gifts because master number 33 is about mastering your spiritual gifts. So this is a message for you. In this lifetime, you're meant to master your intimate relationships and your connections, especially regarding love. You're meant to learn to move completely into self-love and celebrate yourself. And you're also meant to dive deep into your spiritual gifts and their development that is what i'm getting and i think this is what you've done and this is the universe celebrating you here because we have good parties we have good news so because you have mastered these lessons then there's more abundance to come so look at you look at you look at how far you have come from shitty relationships to mastering yourself and open up yourself to the universe, open up yourself to love and attracting all this beautiful abundance that is coming in for you. All right. So we're going to pull some cards and get more messages on that. But let's get the message for you now. Your person is the same thing, right? <laughs> you are mirroring each other. So it definitely could be a twin. If you ask them about their relationships, shitty relationships, same way, right? Poor choices in love. Okay. And in fact, they see the danger, stranger danger. <laughs> they see the danger. They see that this is a cliff, right? But they're still going. And maybe you too. You, you told, you know, right off the bat, this person is trouble 
do not even look that way but you're like mm, i don't know let's just see if this fire is warm <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yes. The fire burns. <laughs> but she knew that, but you still rushed in. Because, you know, it's, it's a compulsion. This is what it is. It's a compulsion. Um, it's an addiction because it's an escape from self. Running into somebody else's arms in order to escape your own issues, your own trauma. Yeah. So I do feel, because there are three people here, I do feel um, your person the same way. Attracting or engaging or putting people in third party. And it's to really escape what they feel inside. And it's a feeling of not being lovable. It is a feeling um, of being worthless. It's a feeling of being powerless. I know it is how you, you, they, they feel on top of the world. That's how they feel in control. By trying to control situations and trying to control people. Being a master manipulator, the puppet master, I think that's what your person enjoyed because it gave them a sense of control over their life, over themselves. But now, I think they're associating themselves um, with, better with, with better company. <laughs> Let's just say that. I do think they're spending a lot of time alone because this is a card number nine. The vibration of the hermit and i am getting something about music and something artistic that's really bringing them back um into self and they are focusing as well on attracting good vibrations i do feel like there's a circle of women ancestors that might be surrounding your person right now and i think for you it might be a circle of male ancestors. It's that support that you guys need um, to take you through um, this journey. So let's pull some cards on these. I think those are the core messages. But let's pull some cards on these and let's see what other messages Spirit wants to bring through for us. But Spirit is saying, bravo, okay? Um, a cycle, a recurrent cycle that you've been in, a recurrent cycle that your person has been in, you guys are transmuting that now and you are the leader. You are guiding the way. You are showing the way forward. Okay? All right, so let's have a look. Um, let's see this poor choices. Oh! Oh! Yeah, you learned a lesson. That's what Spirit is saying. Hangman in reverse. You learned a lesson and you're moving on. So it looks like you might have be, been stuck for a long time because Spirit is saying, Hey, you got to learn the lesson this time and you have. And you have, okay? You see that in the past, you were unenlightened, you were unawakened, and so was your person. I think this is both of you guys, okay? Attracting all kinds of covert narcissists into your life. The gaslighters, okay? The emotional manipulators, but now you are attracting true love into your life. Multiple options. And I think one of those options is your person. Because they daydream about you a lot. Daydreaming about their earth angel. You're their dream lover. Oh, a lot of a lot of Elvis coming through too. Did Elvis sing Dream Lover? I think he did. Anyway, another one of my father's favorite songs. So I think we'll go, my father when he died was 83. So that's the era that he grew up in. So I think in this reading we're gonna get a lot of Elvis and stuff, right? <laughs> so okay. Um, yeah, so you're attracting new love into your life and your person's coming forward um, with their emotions. It's because you guys have grown. You guys have grown. And Spirit's saying, whenever you watch this, um, it's going to be amazing, okay? It's going to be amazing because you're finally breaking out of that cycle of this third party connections and you're moving forward. You're moving forward. And your person's moving on from someone who was very emotionally manipulative. Queen of Cups in reverse. The guilt tripper. Histrionics. Pretending to be frail and fragile. Everything is coming out new. And the universe is celebrating this. 
because you've done so very well. Yeah, they've seen you grow. They've seen you grow into the Empress. And they are well impressed. <laughs> they are well impressed with you. And your person is well impressed with you. Your person is well impressed with you. Because this is your, your goddess. Your goddess. Everybody well impressed with you. Okay. Okay, so we have the fool in reverse. So it looks like there was some there was a point where you and your person you guys were listening to your intuition. Alright, but now you are. You're not doubting your intuition now, you're confident. You might have been in your ego before, but whatever heartbreak that happened on this journey cracks you guys open and then you start you guys start mats in the mats, right? Putting two and two together and figuring it out. And this is why you guys are closing off this cycle here with the world. And the world is your oyster. Beautiful energy coming through. All right. That is lovely. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, let me get um, an oracle card for you guys. Because that is the main message. In the extended, I'm going to go further into your person's feelings for you. Okay. We're going to look at their thoughts, their feelings. I'm going to pull some cards from the Sibila because I have not pulled cards from the Sibila in the line in, in, in a while. Okay. In a while. So I'm going to do that, but let me leave you um, with some advice from spirit. And you know, this is the energy of the moment. It's remembering who that you are. And that might require going, cycling through um, all relationships, all feelings, all partners, and really extracting the wisdom from there. But this is remembering who you are. And it's a card number 21. It's the world again. So big endings. And it says resurfacing of past feelings and emotions. That's what I'm saying. I think you guys are cycling through all emotions and then just putting them to rest guys i'm just i'm drawing a blank but tell me down below sorry hold on guys i could not remember what they named her in moana <laughs> and i was like um, maybe some of them may not be familiar with Pele because that's what, that's the name that came through. Um, but I want to use the one from Moana because it's a, this is a Moana story that I want to log on to. Okay. Um, Tefiti. I, I could not, for the life of me, I could not remember what they call the goddess in Moana, but it is Pele, it is Tefiti, Tefiti. And the story of Moana and, you know, um, her heart being stolen. Okay. Her light, um, being stolen and then restored. Okay, so I feel this is you. This is your light being restored. This is your faith being restored. Your your faith in people and 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 in God and humanity, Creator, being completely restored. Learning how to trust people again. This is what I'm feeling from this card. So for you, it's a, it's a restoration, and I feel like this is also for your person. It's what's happening. I think this is why you guys met each other, so that you guys could remember who you are. Before your light was stolen. And you know, I was thinking about that this last night. Like even before I was a spiritual person. I was always aware that I had a light. And I was always convinced that people were coming to steal it. I do not know where I got that idea from. And that's why I've always been like hyper vigilant and really guarded. And with people. I've always felt like they're trying to plug into me. They're trying to steal this thing. Okay. And that's where my, you know, my distrust of people comes from, you know. So it's, it's interesting that we would get this message today because just last night I was thinking about that. I have no idea where that, where that comes from. You know what? I feel like I'm going to do, I'm going to go into a cash and figure it out. I'm going to put that note to myself. All right. So just pardon me a moment. Let me put that note to myself. Where did I get that idea from? Because I've, I've always been aware of it. Even as a child, 
that people were coming to steal my light. Always been aware. I, if you ask me what this light was, I don't know. I didn't know. But I was always aware that they were coming to steal it. I've, so it's something, it's definitely something past life. So if I figure it out, I'll come, I'll come back and tell you guys, right? You know, I share. We have the enchanted forest, mystery, magic, and excitement. So I feel this world has been restored. As I said, your faith in the universe, your spiritual gifts, everything seems to be unfolding. And you trust in your intuition again. Okay? You might have gone through a time where you used to doubt your intuition, right? And trust in your intuition is a big part um, of self-love. Because your intuition is part of you. It is you. It is core, the, your core essence. And it's a card number 27, which reduced to nine. So, you know, it's again, restoration, the restoration of self. All right. So let's see what is the message here. It says enchanted forest. One minute life seems rather mundane and boring. Then all of a sudden someone or something sweeps you, sweeps into your world like a breath of fresh air. All of a sudden you feel as though you're in a magical mystery tour with a renewed sense of passion and excitement for light, for light. <laughs> They said they have life, but I read light. <laughs> an exception, hey, an excitement for light, right? <laughs> for the sacred, right? And it doesn't matter that you have no real idea where this is all heading. It really is making steps in the dark, doesn't it? It really, it really is called for trust because you don't know where the, what's going to happen next. You have no idea what lies in wait for us. We have no idea, but we just have to trust at this point in time. In fact, not knowing only creates more excitement. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> Life is now full of romance and seemingly endless creative abilities and possibilities. And I keep substituting these words. So Spirit's letting you know you have lots of creative abilities and I think you're meant to use them right now. Embrace all that comes your way. Enjoy the journey and don't be in a hurry to settle things down or draw conclusions. Mm-hmm. Allow things to unfold in their own way and time. What unravels will bring you lasting joy and a deep sense of fulfillment. And you know, what allows us to, you know, enjoy the journey and not be in a hurry to draw conclusions is logging into your heart space. Your heart ain't thinking. It's living. It's enjoying the moment. It's breathing. It's following its passions. From the time that mind starts to step in, that's the trouble. So the affirmation here is I'm open to new ideas and adventures because the mind always has to attach a story and wants to see some kind of pattern from the past and make linkages, right? Spirit saying, don't do that. Don't do that. This is something totally new that's unfolding here. Allow it to unfold. So if this feels like your story, Join me in Extended and we're going to look a little more in depth in your person. Um, let's see what's happening, what their thoughts and feelings about you. Um, I'm going to pull some cards from the Sabila, whatever comes through, and then we get some more advice, okay? My loves, thank you for everything that you do for this channel. I really do appreciate it. Love you so much. Take care. Bye. <gasps> don't go, don't go. It's Diwali in my country. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you guys Shub Diwali I forgot oh my goodness I'm sorry guys and that is a festival of lights light over darkness and this is what's happening here right now this is about the triumph of light over darkness except when it comes to skin color <laughs> so Shub Diwali to all of you guys take care Bye. We are all equal in God's eyes, in everyone's eyes. We are just one consciousness.